Hello, my name is Samantha and in this video I'll be demonstrating how to prepare the Zeus IE for operation. To start, I'll be inserting the soda lime. Prior to inserting the soda lime, just visually inspect the integrity of the canister to ensure there are no visible cracks. This can be a source of a leak. Then to loosen the granules, you can turn the canister upside down a few times. This may increase the longevity of your consumable. Then take the red cap off, place your fingers on the finger grips, press the grey button of the click adapter to open it up and slide the soda lime in on an angle. Then a firm push until you hear a click. The soda lime is usually exchanged when the inspiratory CO2 rises to about 3 millimetres of mercury. With this, you should see discoloration. Soda lime will change from white to purple when exhausted. Now to attach the breathing circuit. Starting with the bag limb, this can be connected to the middle grey port of the breathing system. With the other end hanging in the bag receptacle. The breathing bag should be pointing downwards so that the pressure in the breathing circuit can accurately be measured. Then to connect the inspiratory and expiratory limbs of the breathing circuit to the inspiratory and expiratory ports. Note, these are interchangeable. Please refer to your hospital guidelines for changing intervals as this is dependent on the type of breathing circuit being used. Now to attach the filter. This is attached to the Y end of the breathing circuit. This should be changed for every patient. To insert the water trap, squeeze the clips and firmly push in until you hear a click. And do the same again with the second water trap. The first water trap is a CO2 water trap and the second one is known as a protect water trap for the internal sample line for the gas sensors. To remove the water trap, squeeze the clips and pull it out. If you notice fluid accumulation, a slip syringe can be placed into the black port and removed. If the water trap becomes blocked for any reason, you will notice discoloration of the top ports. The water trap should be checked on a daily basis. The water trap should be exchanged every 28 days. To attach the gas sampling line, one end connects to the CO2 water trap and the other end to the machine side of the filter. Please refer to your hospital guidelines for changing intervals. Then, for the protect water trap, connect the internal sample line. To insert the DIVA metering modules, place a firm grip on the module and slide in to the slot until you hear a click. The selection of the slot is arbitrary. However, DIVA 1 will be your default anaesthetic agent. Then ensure the filling caps are properly on and check the fill level through the sight glass. To remove the DIVA metering modules, hold down the unlock button and slide the module out. If the unlock button is pressed during operation, this may cause an immediate shutdown of the metering modules and lead to a rapid drop in anaesthetic agent in the breathing circuit. Filling of the divas can be done with the modules either in or out and is possible during operation. Just ensure that you ventilate the reservoir prior to filling and that you slowly unscrew the filling caps to allow the slow release of pressure that may have built up during operation. Your device is now ready for the system test. For further information, please refer to the instructions for use or contact your local Draeger representative.